We're here at this Kelly bar. Tell me, Ben, what I see here and what I'm looking at. All right, so this is the outer stage of the Kelly bar, which the KDK would drive on. The KDK, will, once in place, will slide up the main neutral lock zone here, come up, and then it'll slide over into this zone here. And when driving, it'll drive between this zone here and push down on this lock for crowding down and drilling purposes. Okay, so this is what the drive shells inside the KDK lock up against. Correct. Okay. Now, this one also looks like it has sound dampening yep. on it. Tell me a little bit about sound dampening on the Kelly bar. All right, so the sound dampening was put on there to help reduce the noise of the vibration put off when drilling from locking and unlocking. So the vibration kind of works just like a bell. If you the bell's ringing and you put your hand on it, it stops the loud ringing noise. The sound dampening works very similar. It's a tar-like paper that goes on and is covered with steel to protect it. And that helps knock down the sound decimals. So here we are at the second stage, the inside of the bar. The inner stage here is controlled by the drive shells welded in the very bottom of the outer stage. Much like the KDK, the drive shells slide up and down the inner works of the Kelly bar in a neutral position until you'd like to lock. This is the locking area in which the bar would turn in to lock the bar for crowding down and drilling purposes. Once you've finished drilling, you can then unlock the bar, put it in the neutral position, and then proceed to pull the bar back in or telescope back in. All right, so Ben, let's continue to move down the Kelly bar. This is a three-stage bar, so we can look actually at the final stage yep. since you have the bar extended and see how the final stage works on the bar. Yep. Much like the inner stage on the outer stage where that connects, the final stage does the same exact thing coming out of the bottom of that one. It's the same concept. So then coming down here, this is the bottom of the Kelly bar where you can attach to different tooling. This is where it goes into the tool and then pins in for whatever you may be required for drilling. This is the spring that takes all of the tension out of the drilling when crowding down. It allows to take vibration out to help wear on the locks. Also with that, this is the wear ring that sits at the bottom when the bar is completely together, all of the tubes press against this to help crowd down. Then as the bar is telescoped down, you no longer need it for the locks are doing that job. So Ben, this is what's considered to be the Kelly bar stub, correct? That's correct. Okay, so tell me why does it have two, two holes? It has two holes going in opposite direction. Yeah, so any tool that goes on there is gonna have the pinholes and also have dual pinholes for each side, so no matter what, one hole will line up in each tool.